Today we will be looking at Merck Connect interface engine as an HL7 parser. So without wasting our time, let's get started. Let's look into how Merck can be installed over at our system. So this is the NextGen's official website. I have gone to the their download section and in this section we can see we can download the Merck Connect as well as its administrator launcher. So basically Merth Connect will be used to launch the Merth server at our system, local system and through administrator launcher we can launch the Merth application over at our system. So here are the different operating system for which we can install the Merth. So if we need to install the latest version we, will we can directly install the latest version of the Merth and if by any case you need to download the older version you can go over at the Archute sections. So basically, I will just download for my Linux system as well as I will download the administrator launcher for it. I have downloaded both of the files and unzipped them. Before we launch the Merth application, we need to run the Merth server at local system. And to do that, we need to run this merge server launcher jar. So I will run this command sudo java jar merge server launcher. So this will basically up and run the merge server. We can go to the URL localhost 8080 and check whether the merge server is up or not. If you haven't downloaded the Merth Administrator Launcher, you can download it from here. You can select the operating system and download it from here. As we have already downloaded this, we can go over at our launcher, which I have unzipped it, and just launch it by the command dot slash launcher. So here you can just change the address bar over here if we need to specify any address we can just edit this address bar and we can also configure any other configuration which we need to do so once this application will be launched it will ask for username and password so by default the username is admin and the password is admin or whatever the system password which you have so this will just log in into the Merth server and our application will load and it will start the Merth application. As we are running our application first time, it will allow us to change the username and change the password as well. So you can change the password or password over here. You can add on any other things if you want to add. We don't need to register and we can just finish it. So this way the Merth is installed successfully and run over at our local system. Now that we have installed Merth successfully in our system, let's dive into Merth Connect interface. So first of all dashboard. This is the default view you will see after logging into the Merth Connect administrator. The dashboard gives you an overall view of all your deployed channels and also allows you to start, stop specific channels and connectors so basically the next view is channel view the channel view is a main management screen for all the channels configured on your next gen connect so from this view you can create delete import export clone and do all kind of group management from this view as well so let's create our first channel at merth connect we will be seeing merth connect as hl7 parser in this section so I will just first create a group. I will give it the give it a name. I'll just save the group changes. To create a new channel, I can click on new channel part and I can give it as a name TCP server. We will be creating TCP server for this channel. You can set the data types over here. Right now we will be using HL7 as an inbound message. Hence, I am keeping it as HL7. You can change it as JSON, RAW, XML and any other as well according to your requirements. Next, go to the source. You can select what channel type can. So our channel 
it's tcp listener as we are creating a tcp server at this level you can change the port over here at the local port i have changed it and next the transmission mode can be basic tcp or mlfp and then you can switch between mode server or client mode. we will be creating a server over here and yes uh, this way the tcp listener will be created we will just log what data has been sent it to the tcp so i am going into the destination and changing the connector type to the javascript writer and printing the value whichever raw data which we have got you can just drag drop this and that message will be printed over there so i will just name it as raw data backslash n good to save the channel you can click on save changes you can rename this destination as well so i will rename it to tcp listen and done you can just click on the deploy channel and the channel will be deployed i will just clear this previous logs i have a04 message over here you can right click on the channel which has been deployed which can be seen over at dashboard before that i will show you how to move this channel to a specific group you can just select and move it over here and save the changes so group changes will be done and you can just deploy this whole group or this channel as well so this channel has been added to this group as well now i will send a message to this tcp server you can click on this send message and the message can be sent over here apart from that if you have any tcp client available you can just send them this message from there to this tcp server which we have created at the port 6161 you will receive those data over here i have double click that message and you can see the message has been obtained here as well. we have also logged this message so this message can be seen over at the log as well so this complete message hl7 a04 which we have received so basically by this way you can just create a tcp server so as we were looking into our web view you can also view all the deploys channel from web i have gone to the 8443 web admin index.xy i will just put in username and password and you can see this channel has been started it has got one request no filter no queue it has been sent with no errors so this channel which are deployed can be viewed on the web browser as well hl7 messages is sent over at tcp server as we have already created a tcp server let's create a tcp client and send data from that client to our tcp server alternatively you can use hl7 soup which is available for windows and can be used for creating and transmitting hl7 messages let's continue with our creating a tcp client so i will just click on a new channel name it as a demo tcp client i will keep the source as channel reader change it change the destination name to tcp sender change the connector type to the tcp sender as we are creating a tcp sender as you can see we can select the mode client or server add in the remote address which i have added the local address and our port was 6161 which i have created if you will click on the test connection it will be connected successfully if you have any added any wrong kind of port it would not connect so just make it back to 6161 now um, you can change which message should be sent over here and other settings from here so our tcp client has been done we will save the changes and deploy this channel so you can see our tcp client 
channel has been created if i will just click on the send message i have pasted the hl7 message over here and process the message if you will refresh this you can see we have got that message over at tcp listener as well as that message has been logged and if you will see at our tcp client you can see at the send section for the remote address this and port 6161 we have sent this content over tcp port and we have got the response of acknowledgement aa message with msa segment and msa segment as we have successfully created tcp server and tcp client let's look into how we can convert the hl7 message into json in the merk connect so first of all i will go into the tcp server and we will need to change the data type so we at destination we will be changing the inbound hl7 message into json so i have just change the data type of it go to the destination click on edit transformer we will be transforming the data and then click on add new step then we can change the type of this transformer into a javascript writer i will name this convert hl7 to json so first of all merge provide tool to convert the sample inputted hl7 message into a view so basically if you will add the sample message over at the message template and then click on the message tree you can get those details from here so i will just create an object as hl7 object which is empty for now then assign the values to it so i will just paste it over here and assign the event Event name. Then we can assign the sub event, and lastly the patient ID. You can add as many of fields you require to the JSON or whatever the format which we require. So we will need the message header from here. So if you will go into the MSH 9.1 segment, you can get the event name from there. If you will require the sub event name, it will be available at 9.2. So I will just drag drop this 9.2. And lastly, we will require a patient ID, which will be at PID, which gives the patient details, and we will take 3.1 patient internal ID. So I will just try and drop this into patient internal ID. We will save this message HL7 JSON into the variable message, which will be can be used as transform data. So I will just add one more logger over here, logger dot info, which can be used. To print the transform data which we have transformed, so I will just name it as transform data backslash n. And yes, let's save these changes and deploy it. The channel has been deployed successfully. I will just once again copy this HL7 sample message from client side. We will send this message. and we will check our logs so we have received the raw message and it has been converted to json which way we can see over here at this tcp server at raw message we have received the hl7 message and at transformer we have transformed that data so edit event sub event is 02 and patient id just to check once again let's click on the send message paste this I will just change this edit is sub event a zero two and patient ID to one two three four five six. And just process this message. Refreshed over here, you can see the logs over here. 
as well as if we'll go into the tcp server the raw message will be this and transform message will be the json value which has been transformed so by this way you can convert the hl7 message and use those hl message in the merge connect as a json so guys this was the complete walkthrough process of installing merge creating a tcp server tcp client and parsing hl7 message Thank you everyone, until next time, bye bye.